Hello everyone, welcome to Forensic Extract and today we will discuss about cyanide poisoning. So cyanide is rapidly acting lethal substance is very lethal even in very small quantity and cyanide is also known as prussic acid it is known as prussic acid and it is used in manufacturing of prussian glue as we know that cyanide is very rapidly acting so the physical properties of cyanide are it is available in liquid form that rapidly vaporize and that vapor is very lethal by inhalational route it is also absorbed by dermal application dermal application it can be absorbed by and it's lethal on ingestion also there are various forms of cyanide like hydrocyanic acid it is volatile substance that rapidly uh, vaporizes and sodium cyanide and potassium cyanide these two are locally corrosive they co uh, cause erosions or corrosion of mouth or esophagus or gastric mucosa now cyanide is toxic by inhalational route it is toxic by ingestion and it is toxic on application over the skin so these are the mode of action of cyanide now something about the mechanism of action of cyanide as we know that cyanide is rapidly acting so it binds with the enzymes carrying ferric iron like cytochrome oxidase carbonic anhydrase and all and it inhibits electron transport chain thus causes cellular hypoxia cellular hypoxia and depletion of atp and that is responsible for anaerobic metabolism and lactic acidosis so there is metabolic acidosis in case of cyanide poisoning and type of hypoxia is cellular hypoxia at the level of cells so this is the mechanism of action of cyanide poisoning now cyanide is naturally available in various sources like plant sources it, it's present in almonds is present in the various fruits of cassava family it is also present in cherry laurel and peach tree apricot tree also contains uh, cyanide it is also present in arrow grass johnson grass plums are also uh, uh, contain cyanide cherry almonds and elderberries are also so these are the plants and fruits which carries uh, uh, carry cyanide in very small quantity so for that there is a natural process natural process of metabolism of cyanide what happens cyanide is present in glycoside form glycoside in which there is glucose plus a glycon moiety and that a like uh, that glycoside in naturally uh, uh, present cyanide is amygdalene that amygdalene converts into cyanide or active cyanide in the presence of enzyme emulsine that emulsine is also naturally present in all these seeds and that cyanide is a metabolically active cyanide for digestion or metabolism of this cyanide there is one enzyme that is known as rodenase that is present in liver and kidney this enzyme digest or metabolize cyanide into thiocyanate and it is excreted through urine so this is the natural process of cyanide metabolism now 
there are various signs and symptoms depending on the toxicity of cyanide like in case of mild toxicity there is nausea dizziness drowsiness seen and in case of moderate toxicity there is a loss of consciousness for short period there may be seizures or convulsions vomiting may be there and cyanosis may be seen there may be initially there is tachycardia or tachypnea then followed by hypotension and depression of cardio respiratory activities in case of severe toxicity there is deep coma dilated non reactive pupils and deterioration of cardio respiratory function and finally death is due to respiratory failure because cyanide causes cellular hypoxia so these are signs and symptoms of cyanide poisoning now what happens cyanide poisoning is seen due to burning of polyurethane or nylon cloths in and closed spaces and closed spaces to due to exposure to fire or smoke in enclosed area suddenly there is altered mental status or confusion or or disorientation and there may be soot particle around the nose and mouth so this is the exposure of cyanide now cyanide is present in various forms like hydrocyanic acid potassium uh, cyanide and the sodium cyanide as we have discussed that these are locally corrosive and the fatal dose of hydrocyanic acid is 50 to 60 mg and fatal dose of potassium cyanide as well as sodium cyanide is 200 to 300 mg now it's rapidly acting and rapidly acting lethal agent so that's why the fatal period is very short and it is very lethal in 5 to 10 minutes it causes death due to respiratory failure within 10 minutes now cyanide poisoning can be treated by the uh, uh, on the basis of the mechanism of cyanotoxicity that cyanos uh, cyanide causes cellular hypoxia and that cellular hypoxia is responsible for metabolic acidosis what is happening that cyanide binds with cytochrome oxidase and it forms one complex cyanide cytochrome oxidase complex so we have to separate this cytochrome oxidase from cyanide by giving meth hemoglobin meth hemoglobin so we need to give meth hemoglobin generators and these meth hemoglobin generators are amyl nitrate and sodium nitrates amyl nitrate is effective by inhalational route and sodium nitrate is by slow intravenous injection so on formation of meth hemoglobin that cyanide cytochrome oxidase complex reacts with meth hemoglobin and cyanide combines with meth hemoglobin and releasing cytochrome oxidase but this meth hemoglobin itself is very toxic and this product is also toxic cyan meth hemoglobin itself is toxic and it causes chocolatey discoloration of skin or mucosa so we have to excrete it also by giving sulfur donors sulfur donors to metabolize this meth hemoglobin cyan meth hemoglobin and sulfur donor in this case is thiosulfate thiosulfate reacts with cyan meth hemoglobin and forms thiocyanate and the thiocyanate is excreted through kidneys in the urine so this is the main treatment plan of cyanide poisoning now what happens after 
exposure to cyanide will give 0.2 ml amyl nitrate by applying on handkerchief and placing that handkerchief on the patient's mouth every 15 to 30 minutes until sodium nitrate is given so sodium nitrate is given in slow iv form and the concentration is 0.3 gram in 10 ml vial and the second antidote is thiosulfate that is available in 50 ml vial in the concentration of 25 percent and it is also given slow IV infusion whether in 5 percent dextrose or normal saline so so the basic funda of cyanide treatment is by giving meth hemoglobin generators plus one sulfur donor so usually we will uh, use two sulfur donor plus one meth hemoglobin generator in cyanide poisoning as in cyanide antidote kits and other antidotes are they may be uh, uh, useful like dicobalt PDTA is also useful it is a chelating agent for cyanide and we can give vitamin B12 that forms cyan methemoglobin by binding with cyanide activity charcoal is also effective in cyanide poisoning in some cases by decreasing absorption of cyanide so this is the all about treatment of cyanide now something about the postmortem findings of cyanide poisoning cyanide causes bright red or cherry red discoloration of mucosa what happens cyanide causes cellular hypoxia cellular hypoxia and that leads to accumulation of oxyhemoglobin at the tissue level and that is responsible for dark discoloration of mucosa and skin now in some cases there is characteristic smell of bitter almond that may be present but the uh, smell is only recognized by 20 to 40 percent population only because it is linked with sex chromosome in recessive inheritance recessive like the inheritance of color blindness so it is only recognizable by 20 to 40 percent population and in medical personals it is usually not recognized now cyanide was used by various emperor for killing their enemies by contaminating contamination of wells by using various plants or berries like cherry laurel and it is also used as a method of judicial execution judicial execution in case of judicial execution they generate cyanide in a closed space by putting a stressor for below a chair and one egg size sodium cyanide or potassium cyanide above that that cause release of cyanide and death in 15 to 
30 minutes. So this is the method of judicial execution in some countries. One vitamin that is known as vitamin B7 or lateral therapy that is also important and that acts on the cyanide poisoning. It causes rapid death of cancer cells. So it is used as anti-cancer agent. Cyanide is very important and it causes it delays decomposition. So it can be seen in body even after 18 months because it delays decomposition. It is also available naturally in various plants as well as uh, fruits, seeds and there is a mechanism for metabolism of that cyanide. Some cases there may be chances of accidental poisoning due to ingestion of these plants containing cyanide. Now the very important point in cyanide poisoning is the preservation of viscera. How you are going to preserve viscera? So the key point is we have to collect blood for detection of cyanide. For that we have to use one container containing sodium fluoride and that container or the vial should be tightly fitted, airtight fitting should be there and we pack that vial with liquid paraffin and then apply the tight fitting cog over the vial and refrigerate the vial until it is used for detection of cyanide. So this is all about cyanide poisoning and thank you so much and please do subscribe and soon I'm going to improve the qualities of videos as well as my writing skills. So thank you guys and please do subscribe.